Hey everyone, my name is NotLad and welcome back to Atomic Heart. Uh, you can really get some weird glitch effects on the screen. Uh, anyways, we're back in this area. So I want to stand on the pedestal. <laughs> uh, I'm the statue now. <laughs> anyways, I thought that would be kind of neat. Um, what did I just do? I can climb this? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to, but... Cool. 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 That's that's cool. Neat. All right. Cool. All right. Um we're going to continue on here and just see what uh see what this place is in store. I have no idea. There's a camera in that. Ah, oh, I see you. I think. Uh the state of the art R&D complex in tourist shaped chamber and Ambitious experiment in controlled thermal nuclear fusion are conducted here. However, instead of superheated plasma, it hallways are filled with the brightest minds in the motherland. Its director is Igor Golvin. Golovin. Golovin, okay. That's the arena. Oh. Oh, that's a watch I could pick up. Oh, and there's also a box in there. Ooh. There's a door to get in, so I guess that must be the way I get in there. All right, cool. It's a real picture. Devices with arrows and other indicators react to control signals. Don't know what that means. Most of the equipment used to process information is made up of multi-vibrator devices that enable to and disable various mechanisms. Interesting. Hello? Anyone home? Oh. Oh, uh, I mean, this does, although this, uh, <laughs> this doesn't look good for you. That's, that's what I'm going to say, buddy. I, I don't know what you were up to, what you were doing or why you're here, but this, this just don't look good on your heart part. So I'm really sorry about this, but this has to happen. Um, oh, yuck. Oh, he froze. Oh yeah. I have polymer on this thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Zapped ya. Froze ya. I better stand on this side if he's gonna do something special. Bosh. One more, one more, one more. Should be enough. Bosh. Really? That's not enough? Holy cats. How too far are you? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yikes. Man. Okay, let's uh, let's do some searching, see what we can't find. Get all your good stuff. All that good stuff. Cool lot to see. All right, there you go. Ooh, we're getting good. A lot of good stuff. We're filling up pretty well in supplies. Um, by this point, I'm not gonna shut the mod off. I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. It's, it's working pretty good, and honestly, I think I, I like how this gameplay has been going through. We've been able to unlock some pretty good stuff, and I'm pretty proud of that. I'm actually going to read this and see what this is about. Uh, a minor correction. Date May 28, 1955. Uh, from VDNH. Uh, Press Secretary M. Grabishvili. Grabishvili? Okay. Printing Department Manager N. Nazarov. Um... Urgent corrections, please delete this text from the brochure for Q3 1956. The VDNH was originally planned to be a flying complex. Oh, hang on a second. I keep every time. Also, I think it could be my chair slightly. Yeah, see, my chair goes down a little bit. For some reason, something's wrong with the hydraulics, so I sink and I'm a little shorter than my camera is. So I apologize for that, but should be better now. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Anyways. Um. Q3 1956, the VDNH was originally planned to be a flying complex located on Icarus platform. Um, like Chelomini. Chelomini. <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's Chelome. That's what it is, but I like Chelomini. <laughs> um, this floating museum would travel the Soviet Union, inviting visitors from cities and towns along its path to come up and enjoy its exhibits. However, new machines destined to be part of the exhibits were being developed so quickly its exhibits would inevitably have become out of date while the platform was flying from Vladiv Vladivostok to Leningrad. I feel like you guys give these hard names 
on purpose. <laughs> like, you guys are just trying to make it difficult on yourselves, you know? It's just, well. uh, it was therefore decided to leave the VDNH at facility 3826. That's interesting, but once again, none of this information is necessarily important. It's just, it's intriguing. And that's all it's intended for, you know? Um... Let me preview through this one. I won't read more if it's not important. I'm simply thrilled your post is excellent work. Uh, I find it terrifying and buddy, remember, watch out for the other side. Nah, uh -huh. Posters should let people know that if you make a mistake, that's it. Make a couple of mock-ups and I'll take a look at them and tell you a fix I want to. Yeah, see, that's one thing I was curious about. There are a lot of posters in the environment that are kind of graphic um, of people getting decapitated and stuff like that it's like you do have some things like that in the workforce but not that uh not that graphic you know so anyways i guess that was done on purpose what is this uh the analytics of biometric indicators show 99 percent of the history uh graphics uh Travova, Vova, Bella, Bella Ash, and natasha Labor, hedgy, send the data of AOC. Okay, nope, none of this is really that important, so. Okay. Yeah, it still shows up. Okay. Um, oof. Where to go? Where to go? Let's talk to you. Yeah, a Scottish accent. <laughs> uh, it's a phase, it'll pass. Huh, yeah, that must feel it's pretty shit. Yeah, let's say it's it'll a phase. pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember Why is he the turning bastards this gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. <coughs> That's some replacement, isn't some it? Replacement. Oh, well. <laughs> uh -huh. Just leave me alone. I want to do us off. Huh. I, I cannot comprehend what that would even be like for someone to wait. Oh, wait, that's the passcode we need. Oh, I might as well enter that then. Okay. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Hang on. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Okay. So, yuck, 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 yuck. Good. Nice. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go in here then, I guess. Might as well do this right away. Um, good stuff. I wish it was like, depending on what color chest you would get means you'd get better stuff, but it doesn't seem to be the case. They're all kind of the same. I love the little people. Murder. <laughs> ah, I can't, can't destroy the little people. Let's see this one though. Department of Corrections report number 44. Maybe getting many of those. Oleg Lazarev, the employee who disappeared, has been found. The theory that he was on a bender turned out to be false. The engineer's body was found in the magnetic earthquake system in a state that prevented it from being identified without DNA analysis. Squad 5 performed a series of procedures to delete data in facility 3826's archive, and any references to Comrade Lazarev have been removed from Damas OS social networks. We had been ordered to hold a training seminar for the VDNH's junior earthquake system staff about the serious danger the magnets pose to all employees. This is the third one this year. Hmm. People need dead to bodies all over the place. To take this seriously. Oops, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I like that it will pause the audio and then continue it. That is really nice. I do think that's quite cool that it does that. All right, this is just secrets, just Goody's room, right? And there's Terra Unless I can go through arm. this. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to it bits. Is. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Sure enough, it's trying to just perform its test. Okay, so uh, this seems like the area I was supposed to go. And um, I don't like that. Um, let me see what I can't do here, so... Let's go. Not bad. Got mad skills, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, this just brings me back out. Cool, cool, cool. Um, 
Should I deal with this yet? I, I feel like maybe I shouldn't yet. I should see... There was this. I should save, I guess. It's always a good move. Okay. No, that is my objective. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. I didn't see that point. Um... Okay, so we're back. I had to go for a moment. Actually, it's been a long time. A day has passed. <laughs> uh, so, it's a funny story. I actually, um, I only left for a few minutes to go do something real quick, and then I came back, and then we continue and we play through the whole rest of the episode. Well, unfortunately, it turns out that my recording stopped, um, during that time, and, um, I have to go through this segment again, like I haven't before, which we actually went through a lot, so I'm a little annoyed by that, but it's fine. You guys will be able to see this for the first time. Um, so when I first played through this, I just went right through there and went directly into that other room there that's locked. Turns out that, uh, uh, I missed a little bit of dialogue because I didn't just come over here first. Me to help you. You. Error 6 Playback failed. That is weird. Okay. Can I? How can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? I can be opened with my multi key error. Multi key not found. It's in our hands. Models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been legs, torn though. off by a miscreant. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have <laughs> lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. I don't know. Charles, what do the special neural connectors for collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought Error devices, six, eight, but in a golden fail. diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's huh. team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade Major? What? Huh. You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's oh. work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> oh, wow. He asked me to be careful with you. I didn't realize that. This is his glove. Oh. Fascinating. Anyways, I love the uh, the sound design. So that's something I want to mention. Her sound design, like how her voice is glitching out and how it sounds. All that. That sounds so cool to me, and I, I love when people do that, and I just can't imagine the sound design that went behind that to make that voice, you know? Um, it's not as simple as it may seem. There's, that takes a lot of work. You gotta, you gotta change the pitch of the voice, you gotta, the voice actor has to do quite a bit of it too, but, um, still, like, that's a lot of work. And, like, just to imagine all the work that goes into making sounds for a game, that's a lot, dude. A lot of work, so it's, I think it's good to give credit to those people that did that. I think that's really cool. Um, okay. I'm just searching this. There's nothing in here that I necessarily need. I know exactly where the hand I've been looking for is. So just hopefully we get to that. Still these. I never technically read these terminals, so maybe I should see. Uh, VNH mission, acceptable warning. Oh, actually, I did read these. No, none of these were good. Um, the only one that's of interest is the one that says ghost. Yeah, that's just people. I was not trying to do that. Thank you very much. Hang in there. Okay. Real quick, let me just make a small save. All right. All right, let's get, uh, let's climb back in here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh man, I love, I'm enjoying this game. I really am. Every day I've wanted to play it. I know I gotta Dead play other games, but it's all place. I wanna play. 
It is, it's, it's just so fun. And I can't wait to see what robots we come across next. We found the majority, but I'm sure we're still, we still haven't seen all of them yet. He will be though, actually. No, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, he, he actually becomes hostile when you take the arm. I don't know why that is though. Makes no, not much sense. I, I, I don't know why he would be protecting it necessarily. But I guess they wanted to give a challenge of some sort. There we go. Nice. Okay, what else? Why, hello, pretty lady. Wait, is that? No, sorry. I thought that was, um, oh, what's her name? Um, singer. Um, punk rock singer. Um, uh, uh, Avril Levine. La A Avril, Avril Levine. Is that how you say it for her name? Anyways, I thought that was her for a second. Um, let me go up here. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. Good. <laughs> that seems very current to this game. Alright, um, anyways. Uh, let me just collect this. Apparently we did not. Alright, um... Not yours either. I could technically get that one, and I think I know how to do it. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh, there's also audio here, too. You guys might want to hear that. Listen up, everyone. This one I thought was a cool audio log. Some recordings of your tours. Uh, why are they so boring? Graphics are this and that kind of robot, yada, yada, yada. And then you get all technical. Uh, there are kids there, you know? Uh -huh. Young pioneers, octopus. You gotta keep them entertained. Yep. Here, watch this. This is Robot Graphic. He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, kicks ass. Or kicks ass, you yeah. say ass in front of the kids? Uh, you <laughs> know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the tours fun. Let yeah. Let the buggers crawl all over the bots. Let them ride them or something. I don't know. They're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. Exactly. Yeah, see, I when I first played through that, when I first listened to that um, that audio recording, I was saying something similar, like, um, I believe that too. It's like, if you're trying to encourage kids to, like, uh, to, like, get into something, you have to make it fun. You have to let them climb on the gear. You have to let them uh, mess around, touch things. I mean, that's just part of being a kid, you know? Can I see inside of you? Kind of. Huh. Weird. Okay. I'm gonna take your arm. You're not gonna like this, though. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, see, his hose came Fuck off that. of his There's face. No that's that weird. Ah! I couldn't move. And he couldn't actually get me there for a second. That was weird. And going in for the big one. Fuck. Get better off just swinging. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. There we go. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Um, was the ghost one in here? No. Um. So yeah. Apparently, these dialogues were kind of just about like the. VD and H being in the sky at some point. Well, what well, they wanted it to be in the sky, but unfortunately they couldn't just because, um, just because like the complex here, the uh, the technology and the stuff that they had was advancing so quickly that uh, the stuff that they wanted to display in the Flying City would be out of date and stuff like that is is very interesting, but it's once again not very important to, for anything at all. Okay. I don't know what upgrades I haven't Major done now. Because a lot of my progress was undone from me coming back to an old save. So let me see what I'm missing. 
Oh, we are missing this one, and I have enough for it. Okay, um, let me do this one. This is the Cell Division one. Uh, regenerates health in a matter of seconds, so that's that's the most expensive, and that's the one I wanted to go for, so we got that one, and um, really all we got is just one more ability to get from that chart, so we'll keep that one in mind. Frostbite, I could do this one. What is this? It improves the durability of the cryopolymer, increasing the freeze duration. Oh, even better. Hey, that would be nice. Um, sick. All right. So that's all we can do for that one for now. Access um, granted. Let me also see if... Uh, oh, sorry. That's the same one again. My bad. Switch crafting. That's right. Okay. Sorry, I never do it like that. I should. Did I not rebuild the gun for you guys in this episode? <laughs> I actually rebuilt the electric gun. Um, I'm going to rebuild it again because it actually is kind of cool. Uh, when you fully upgrade it and with some of the upgrade blueprints we have, it actually becomes pretty cool. So I'm going to build that and we're going to instantly go and upgrade it. Um, right, I have to pull it in my inventory. That's right. Let's auto sort all this stuff. Make sure everything's sorted. Can't put that in there right now to like empty some of this out. Let's get rid of some of that. Okay. Um, also, those aren't useful to me. We do need to put more health in my inventory. And I need to get rid of some of my vodka. I got a bit of a drinking problem, apparently. Um, okay. Also, do I have any... I only have one clip of that. Eesh, I should get more of those, too. Let's get one more. Just one for now. Uh, okay. Neuromods... Well, they're not neuromods. I always call them neuromods. They're not, though. Um. Yeah, health is always a good thing. Let's just take one more. Okay. Um, I can also decraft some of this stuff. Ugh, shucks. I undid my progress with that, too. I did disassemble a lot of this. Uh, okay. I'll try to skip through this. Okay. Um, we should have... A pretty cleaned up inventory now um, so I have still a lot of resources but not as much we cleaned out a lot of it so <laughs> anyways and we have tons of material now um, I could deactivate that Forex mod that I have um, because our collection has been pretty vast so I could get rid of it too but we'll, we'll see um, another thing too I'm thinking I'm going to remove the railgun out of my inventory because it only destroys things completely. And for me, that's not very useful. Um, going up against big robots, I imagine like it could probably work, but I don't want to accidentally get rid of the resources from it because that's all kind of the big whole reason why I take them on, you know? So anyways, I think I'm going to stick with that. Um... What else? Uh, we have our pistol again. I gotta upgrade now. Let's go and get this thing upgraded. I should be able to upgrade this thing fully. We have all the materials we need. Uh, this is the cool one. Um, I want to get the leeching one, the uh, the vampire module. That one I really want to get. That sounds so cool to me. But this one is really cool, and that's the most of all why I like this weapon. Otherwise, it still kind of shoots the same. You can make it shoot a little better with this one. Um, and it adds the ability to stun a robot, which is pretty cool. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And then do that. And then that. And then that. And then that. Alright, and it's, uh, it has more damage against organics too, so that's pretty cool. Recirculation chamber, we'll get this one. Decrease energy expenditure. Race the rate of fire to increase damage, decrease energy expenditure, adds the ability for protect projectiles to rebound, which is pretty sick. Okay, anyways, the gun it doesn't have that tip anymore. It's got a cool one that kind of spins and it does like some sick animation, so it's kind of neat. Um, let me just see where everything's at. I don't know what I've worked on and what I haven't. Yeah, I have the climater installed. Okay, all this stuff is still up. Um, do we have new ones though? That one is good. We need the new ones. That one's fine. Got that. Okay, that's all good. What about this one? Did I do upgrading with this one? I, I'm not a fan of the thermal scope, but I do understand it now. I understand why it is the way it is. 
um, and how it works to see robots and stuff, so... Um, still don't know if I like that, though. Glass shotgun, I think, needed work. We didn't actually... Yeah, I don't think I've done everything to this one yet. Uh, maybe I... Maybe I'm good, though. No, this is one that needs to be changed, right? No. No, actually, that's fine. Okay, I guess we did do this one. So that one's good. What about this one? Everything's pretty much up in this, right? Yep. It would be cool to see what the battering blow is like. Because I think this was just a basic one. This is one from a, a blueprint box. So I'm thinking maybe this one might be better, actually. So let me see what it can do. Let me try that. Um, let's go here. Add some new stuff to it. That's kind of cool. All right. Restores health uh, for each hit. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, when landing a hit, P3 cannot be knocked down by an enemy attack. Awesome. Decreases the energy consumption of special attacks. Increases energy bonus. I don't know if I like that, but let I am curious to see what it does. Oh, so it's like a charged attack. Okay, let's try it here real quick. I can't really turn when I'm charging though. Okay, it keeps me in a single direction. But if you have an enemy there, I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm a helicopter now. Okay, anyways, let's progress this. So I have the hand, let's uh, interact here. How does it work? This is pretty cool. Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. That is so cool. The way he jams it in here, though. <laughs> that seems... Seems like you might have broke something there, but alright. So anyways, we get to see the robot girl more, and she actually says some neat stuff. Now what? It's interesting. Like the... Like the lovely jazz. It's her. <laughs> my thing's still spinning. Thank you for coming <laughs> to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. <laughs> you were missing Did a limb. Fixer or breaker. <laughs> the Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give cool. two wet farts. Much better. <laughs> with your permission, I'd Dex. like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, okay. comrades. And welcome to the All Soviet Exhibition Center. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror. The databases <laughs> lack the verbal and visual whoa, tools whoa. required thing just spin, to express spun. fear, horror, or other negative emotions. That's gotta I be terrible. To remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I huh. can do about it. That's crazy. Pipe down. We also learn more about her that's really fascinating. Um, she actually has somewhat like a soul and a personality, which is really neat. And we'll hear it in an audio log later. But um, that's got to be terrifying, though, with... You, you wouldn't think about that, but she can't ex express the emotions, but she's feeling them or something like that. Or maybe she's not even allowed to, like, feel them exactly, but that, that's just crazy to me. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people. I've made assuming it this far. there are still any left. Exactly. Can't you tell if there that are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are hmm. unharmed. This arouses <laughs> Damn, suspicion. Get out what I do, I guess. <laughs> you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. That's cool, how though. How am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin <laughs> test. This will prove that you are a huh. human. Okay, what I can do that. Fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn 
Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, pedestal? labor, and life. Crispy critters. Now I gotta deal with another crazy <laughs> ass lock. Fuck. I know where they are. A magnet for annoying bullshit. Not that. This one. Got a radio. Um, I don't know what pedestal she's talking about. We never actually put anything on a pedestal, which is crazy to me. The hammer represents something. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, what else we got? Um, here we can talk to this guy. She loves flowers. See? That's the crazy thing. Um, all these things about her are very human. And she's the closest thing to human, which is very interesting. You gotta stand on that, then pull it. There, he he says it, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's very fascinating. Then, uh... Hi, how you doing? Um, so about this Darwin test. So... About this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Okay. Just watch your fingers, I'd rather not have to look for the multi-key again. Put some... something cheerful on, would you? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Here you go, this is as alive as it here gets. Go. That's the first one. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. See how she acts? Oh, She's more face, human than anything, I'm which sorry. is crazy. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. No. Oh. All right. Um. Okay. Um. I'd like to ask you about something else. No. Um. Put something put cheerful something on, cheerful would, you? would you? That's. It kind of I technically like the, like the, the music, right but Radio I think we have to go future. through the dialogue. Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the it's not bad, but I like the jazz more. The, the jazz was we'll more fun. <laughs> but the I thought that was better. Are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past? Of the past? Actually get there? Uh huh. And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. That's true. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. Uh -huh. You have discovered a temporal paradox. paradox. How very observant mm -hmm. you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, huh. we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. Shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. <laughs> I'm getting a fucking headache here. <laughs> if you listen to a song from the past that is being projected from the future and then being heard from the past, are you... Is technically, are you listening to music of the future? Or are you listening to music of the past? Something to think about. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Um, just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi key just again. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's oh. friend. The many pointed stars. So I'm going through the dialogue of each thing I collected. <sighs> Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Okay, Tell so me, I'm good. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I want to be a cowboy. Not. What a no. splendid <laughs> choice. I wish... Well, I'd rather enjoy your attention, Major. No. Now, how can I, I don't know what happened to you there, though. Do you have um, a memory leak or something? <laughs> I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my <laughs> fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. Okay. See, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two, two. robots instead of one. So yep. where do I find 
another obnoxious metal dipshit. Before that yeah, dreadful be nice. nightmare, <laughs> the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire. Apart. I like that name, Claire. Hmm. <laughs> did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? <laughs> Call it a hunch. Call it a... Do yeah. I have to scour <laughs> the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. Yeah, we actually follow her now. Um, it's fascinating to me. This her thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost I don't their minds. With that. You don't say. I I find it fascinating because um we'll get the dialogue later, but um she is the I I just I find it so cool that her particular robot um she's more human than anything and man those heels very nice <laughs> just gotta say you look really spicy with those heels i gotta say um anyways these this uh this next dialogue with her is pretty interesting she says some unique things oh my would you look at this helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal <laughs> she really but takes her time how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. <laughs> and she makes fun comments like that. She goes and looks at each of them. And this one's kind of funny. This one, it just stands there buck naked as buck if naked. nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, Rose? Have you no Have shame? You exposing your iridium compactor. Oh, not his you iridium do compactor. You he didn't do it himself, oh. right? <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my, that's a mess. And mm. who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? Mm. I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. <laughs> no, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. Uh-huh, it looks like they're, uh... Uh-huh. I think those are the robots that are sitting down. Those are the cleaner robots. Not so good. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. <laughs> but this one, you're uh -huh. not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that <laughs> one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. That, that, wow, what are you, what are you There's saying? That's, that's not okay. Ugh. Ones in black. Oh, I don't, I never like them. Why do they make them look so, That's cool, though. Laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the Black laser? Lab Tech huh. specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black I'm Lab doing Techs, that. provided mm -hmm. its capsule is still in one piece. Yeah. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, <laughs> Tereshkova. Talk I human. understood it. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. Yeah, I man. gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. Yeah. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. <laughs> on my way comrade oh my gosh <laughs> just the dialogue of, of her is very funny um okay you're not really walking on the stairs i'm just saying <laughs> okay yeah these guys oh, who's <laughs> this is funny boy who's the sweetest silliest chubbiest little boy you little <laughs> goo you don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? No, still attack. They're not. They're not as precious as you may think. I'm just saying. Anyways, this is where Here she. Here we are, comrade. The control drive <laughs> should be Please establish the connection. 
This is interesting. Like, when you come over this, you see how the eye is red in this door? It's like it's not opened yet. Um, it's, it's interesting, but this, uh, this animation thing is kind of interesting. I want to just move that away so we don't miss anything. Hang on. Um, cause this box is in the way. I don't know why it's in the way. Alright, here we go. This is actually pretty cool, this little animation thing. Alright. Apparently... Those are from the, the major. I have from the fridge. Delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? <laughs> oh Last man, spot. they can reconnect themselves. It's so fascinating. Man, I love the concepts of this stuff. That's so cool. Uh, does this look all right? <laughs> does it look all right now? Granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. Dang. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Okay. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Will do. All right, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. All right, <laughs> there you go. Um, anyways, um... No, I, although that's really kind of weird and eerie, it's also so cool at the same time. That's just how I, oh, it's just, everything about this game is just cool and strange at the same time, but that's what makes it impressive. I love that. Can I not talk to you anymore or anything like that now? Okay. All right, I guess we're good. So there's a lot of stuff through here. There's cleaning robots you have to avoid. There's also guys around there too. It's like a palace. Talk about class. You shock them, they move. Just drink it all in. <laughs> Attention, DNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 cool. minutes. Please conclude all missions. You can use them to take out robots, too. That's the cool thing. I think that's why they're there. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to snipe some of these guys. Also, you guys haven't gotten to see the uh, ultimate ability of this, but I'll show you in a second. Um, there we go. We got the electrical uh, um, polymer uh, canister on this, so it shocks them and keeps them in place, which is so nice. Hello? What the heck? Why can't I hit you? Okay, whatever. He'll try to come up. You asked for Can it. you stop moving? There we go. Yeah, both of them are coming. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I'm not hitting all my shots very well this time. He's really trying hard to get here. There you go. Yeah, they got a lot of stairs to climb if they want to get to me. Come on. What the heck? Okay, oh, hey, 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 none of that. That's a lot of you. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay, whatever. Ah! Okay, not cool. Um, had the wrong ability. There we go. You know Why am I bothering with this one? Check this out. Oh, that's so cool. See, like, those those ones are a lot cooler, those abilities. I like that. Oh, <laughs> Love that. Anyways, uh, let's keep moving, though. Um, let me swap back to maybe a different weapon. I should use a shotgun. I don't use it enough. First of all, is there anything up here? There's a body here. I think I know who it is, too. It's gonna take a minute. There we go. Oh! No more? Okay. <laughs> They're like clay pigeons. You just. <laughs> Paul! 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 <laughs> Hi. What's up? Alright. We 
We good? Good. Okay. Hey. Oh, young man, you must help me, please. Uh, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. How? You've passed away, right? How? You. Of course I do. Sorry, man. I didn't. This is a Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. Circumstance. Then what's the matter? You see, I am a tour guide, the last living. Oh, I mean, not, not living. Robotic. Oh, this is really difficult. I get it. So? I did such a solemn concluding tour before handing over all functions to these Tereshkovas. And I had a group of students. They underwent polymer treatment and were awarded a visit to the facility. Talk about oh. bad timing. Exceptionally uh -huh. bad yeah, timing. Yeah, just a bit. You see, I am worried about them. They must mm -hmm. be somewhere That's here, really sweet of her, but... Mm -hmm. They may already be. Listen, I understand that you should be evacuating, but you can obviously take care of yourself. You are a security guard, aren't you? <laughs> Something Close like enough. <laughs> yeah. Please, they scattered when everything started. I can't leave them like this. I no. answer for their well-being with my life. I did it again, didn't I? Aw, oh, okay. Uh, Alright, calm down, I'll try to find them. Uh, sorry, but I have more important things to do. I'm afraid they're also... No, okay. I'm gonna say this one. All right, calm down. I'll try, I'll to, try to find, find them. them. Thank you. They are technically Thank already dead, though. So much. Tell me when you find everybody, will you? There were two yeah, I'll come back. and two young women. I will be here. It's not like I can go anywhere now. Hmm. That's terrible, huh? But I think it's really sweet of her that she's still like concerned for their well-being and safety. That really says a lot about somebody's personality, you know? Caring for others no matter what. That's cool. I like that. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I took you out. Okay. Hey there. Whoa. <laughs> Look at you go. Last time I took on a robot right here and this thing kept plowing him over. It was fun to watch. Actually, you know what? We could duplicate that. There you go. Boosh. <laughs> oh, whoa. They actually just kind of disassembled them. Okay. Gotta be careful here. There we go. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, see that? That's technically what they can do for you if uh, if you want to use them in your environment. So it's kind of a neat thing. Um, all right, down we go. This is one of the students, apparently. When she when she was talking about it, I thought they were much younger, but I guess not. I wanted to die today. Um, you went on the tour, didn't you? You went on the tour, didn't you? I did. I never wanted to come here. I wanted to sit on a bench and just die. There's a I reason. This is stupid. Mm -hmm. But appreciate the irony. Qualia and I broke up yesterday. His parents were transferred to Sahalin. Let's break up. The real one. Not the mm -hmm. one in this exhibition. He went with them. He said we wouldn't be together. So I wanted to die. You're not wrong. Aww. When you're falling off a bridge, it feels like you can fix anything. Except for the fact... You're falling, you're falling off, off a bridge. But I was lying here. <laughs> I suddenly realized... There is no idea stupider than giving up on life because of a boyfriend. It's true, though. It yeah. even sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. I'll tell the guide I found you. She was... Worried. worried. See, it's cool how the dialogue changed. If I never would have done that, I never would have got that particular dialogue. Um, actually, uh, well, I don't have anything installed on this one. What the heck? Um, I guess let's use the electrical one on that. Sure, why not? And we should also do that for the pistol, too. Without that, and then... Electric is the best for this. Then melee devices will get the ice one. Um. Hello? Hang on. 
Yeah, this one doesn't have anything on it right now. Okay. Do I even have any more? Oh, I got the fire one. Okay. There we go. Just need to make sure I made that happen. Okay. Um, let's use my shotgun a bit. I never use this thing enough. Shocky, shocky time. Oh no, this isn't my shotgun. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, this didn't hit right. This hit kind of funny. Good resources, let's go. All right. Oh, hi. Hey, how's it going? Your shield doesn't actually defend you from very much. There we go. They are so much tougher though, my gosh. Okay, sorry, this was not the right. There we go. Um, this is the one. <laughs> sorry, I had the wrong one this whole time. All right. Um, let me not go there first. There's a lot to do on this level. Um, first of all, we got some of this stuff. Um, nobody should be alive around here. Every everyone's pretty much dead around in this area. But in the bushes, it's not this bushes. I think it's these bushes. And the bushes, look what we find. Looky, looky. Canister number one. It's to open the secret room. Um, anyways, let's put that in there. I, I'm surprised my character didn't have anything to say about the canisters once more. Here we go. Okay. Wait, that's not one of the bodies, is it? No, you don't talk. Um, this was, this next corpse that we talked to is a little strange, but she d is helpful okay. to us, so. This is new. What's wrong with her head? Welcome. Come closer. Be not afraid of my power. What the fuck? Charles, Oracle. <laughs> is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am the all-seeing. Uh-huh. to be a simple. But now I am She actually can though, that's the and you'll find I out why. See everything. I know everything and I am everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got it. Talk about rotten luck. Charles, this one's completely lost her marbles. What is this skepticism? Sergey <laughs> Alexeyevich, you should be catching Viktor Petrov instead of doubting my greatness. How did she know that? An interesting deviation. This woman is suffering from polymer overdose. This can happen when a human brain is connected to a large body of data. Obviously, huh. this is what killed her. And now, for a brief time, the Oracle has merged with the entire VDNH. Wow, she can yeah, access see. all computers, cameras, and terminals. So she's part of the complex. With unrestricted access to everything? What? Huh. So, you're the Oracle, huh? Can you prove it? <laughs> I have no need to prove my power to you, mortal. Mortal? Yes, <laughs> I could indulge you for amusement's sake. What do you want? Shall I tell you about your missing past? Or the kind spirits that look after you and will silently weep forever? But what would be the point? If you can't even see what's going on right under your nose. <laughs> uh, that's quite a load of something. Let's make this simple. Open this door for me, would you? Will I? I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I can open all doors, both in the past and the future. Okay, just open the door. Okay, don't do that. Well, <laughs> that inevitably killed her. <laughs> Oof, too much information can drive you crazy. Indeed. I'd like to compliment you on your resourcefulness. That was clever. <laughs> I guess you Thank can you. think outside the box. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm proud Just... of myself. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. Was a useful lady. How'd she find out about me and my mission? At... Oh. Oh, shucks. It cut the dialogue. No, that was actually good dialogue, too. Okay, so she was wondering about how did he know about the mission, and he and then the glove started talking back to him, saying like, "Well, it's there's there's must be more to the story, and that uh, um, 
that she had information from the VDNH itself, so the VDNH had secret information that even he doesn't know, kind of thing, you know? So, anyways, this is, this is interesting. Alright, um... Ugh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to end the episode here. I'll have to continue on. I don't think I've ventured on much further than this. I didn't interact with the body before in the previous episode I made, but we'll get to that in the next one. You'll see that soon. So, anyways, that is going to do it for me. So, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is NotLad, signing off. Later, guys.